Hey guys, excited to announce that we've reached 500,000 subscribers on YouTube. What? I oh know. Oh my goodness. It's crazy. Wow. Yeah, that's a lot. And a lot that's of you guys. That's like a billion subscribers. Well, it's not quite a billion. It's more like half a million. Wow. That's like a million subscribers. And a lot of you guys are new to the channel. So we wanted to do something for you that I don't know. Uh, First, you should congratulate me. Good job. Cheers. Robot. Let's face facts, combo girl. You've been riding my coattails for years now. So for all our new subscribers out there, we wanted to provide you a Comic Book Girl 19 content guide. Content guide? Yeah, to help you navigate through our videos. We got a lot of videos and we wanted to make it easier for you guys to find some of our best work. Oh, because a lot of people are new here, huh? A lot of new blurs. You know, we want to make it easy on you. We got a lot of good stuff. Got fucking two hours of X-Men documentaries. You look tired. I... Has reaching 500 million subscribers made you tired? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> it's a... It's not easy. I know I've worked hard. You sure have. So thanks to everybody out there on the internet. You have impeccable good taste. We wouldn't be here without you guys, obviously. I have a little party here to celebrate. It's me and Robot. It's me and Robot. It's me and Robot. It's me and Robot. And beans. Oh yeah. For those of you new to our channel, let me take you through a magical tour of all of our shelves on our YouTube page. Shelves? Shelves. Shelves. What are shelves about? All right, so shelves, you know, you got a, you got a theme here. Let's see here. Our first shelf, we have new episodes. This is where we get the new, nicely produced, hot episodes. It's pretty self-explanatory, guys. I think you guys can handle that one. Uh, and then below that, we have our best work and trending videos. So if you are new, this is a great place to start. What does trending mean? Uh, videos that are hot right now. Videos that are hot. Or videos that we want to be hot, I guess, is more accurate. <laughs> Okay, well. Especially a documentary of Epic History X-Men Volume 1 and 2, Why Did I Go See Gods of Egypt. Mr. Robot, man, that's a really great episode and we worked really hard on it. It's like 30 minutes. So uh, if you guys should totally watch Mr. Robot and our season one review and analysis. Below that, we have our, n it should say BS Movie News, whatever. Movie News Live. This is where we put our live weekly show all about BS Movie News. Hey, there's a lot of stuff. Oh. Yeah, yeah. And... Looks like some interesting topics. Definitely. Well, it's it's topical topics. Well, it looks like a lot of stuff that'll get you in trouble. Yeah. I mean, I get in trouble in that show all the What's time. What's whitewashing mean? Okay, we're going to just move on. Uh, comic book movie reviews. This is our next shelf. So if you want to see me re review all the comic book movies that have been coming out over the past few years, we've got you covered. Uh, Did you review Fantastic Four? Uh, I did, as a matter oh, of wow. fact, right here. Fantastic Four, Eight Factors to Disaster, The Inside Story. This was a really fun one. I really like that one a lot. What about Shazam? Uh, Shazam isn't out yet, and the Shaq Shazam. Oh no, we we haven't gone back that far yet. We're we haven't been scraping the bottom of the barrel yet. You need to get to it. I'm on it. We're we're working on it every day. Uh, and below this, we have our Game of Thrones videos and Game of Thrones epic histories. So if you're interested in my Game of Thrones content, you can find all of it on That's this shelf. Uh, below that, we have cosplay and Comic-Con videos. I've done a lot of cosplay. If you're new to the channel, you may not know this, but I uh, was a cardboard RoboCop one year, and that was pretty awesome. So we've got a whole video about that, about Ooh, spiral. our- Spiral. Uh, well, she, you know, she may be a D-list X-Men villain, but she's A-list in my heart, and I cosplayed as her once, and nobody watched the video for it. So, uh, yeah, but we got a Fifth Element one. I was Zorg once. The Wildcat Zealot is in there. Uh, also, our Comic Book Girl 19 goes to Dragon Con. And the one with the time that I went to Comic Con? Yeah, we do, actually. It's, uh, it's right here. Uh, the Comic Con hey. 2014 Adventures. Yeah, so there's a lot of great stuff in here. Monster Palooza, Indiana Comic Con. Oh, look at those red tits. Yeah, yeah. This, this. Uh, oh my gosh. Yeah, this was this was an insane cosplay. This was the best. I what had a brain that? bug. I need to watch that one. Yeah, I had a brain bug that day uh, on my head. There's a lot of videos that I didn't mention, so feel free to put on your miner's hat and do some digging. 
find some gold. So cheers to you guys. And let me know which videos you like. Did you find a video that you liked? Have you been here all along? What's your favorite video? Let me know in the comments below. I'm really standoffish today. <laughs> having a hard I just have zero fucks to give you today I just have yeah. zero fucks to give you right. like zero like right. zero fucks so cheers to you internet thanks for helping make this show possible we are completely independent we're also on patreon if you want to go even further than that subscribe click and you want to support fuck <laughs> welcome to the combo girl 19 show 2015 intro it's officially the future Hey guys, welcome to the Comic Book Girl 19 show. In 2015, things are gonna get really weird. We're gonna talk about some far out shit. We're gonna get really esoteric with it. It's gonna make you feel super uncomfortable, but you just need to learn to run with it. The theme this year is embrace the chaos. Embrace the chaos! 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 And of course this year we've got Robot back on the show better than ever. He fixed that loose wire that's been plaguing him for years. Oh yeah, baby. Loose wire's finally fixed. He's back. Oh no, button fell off. We're gonna be more offensive in 2015. We're gonna be more raw. We're just gonna say whatever we feel like saying. There's gonna be more beer on the show this year. That's for sure. Embrace the chaos. All new this year, we've got a new character. Space Brain! What's the deal with Space Brain? Space Brain is from outer space or another dimension or time. I don't know, okay? I don't know where he's fucking from, but what I do know is that he's here, he's very intellectual, and he's here to write a documentary book about humans. So he's observing us. Shut up, Space Brain, it's not about you. This year it's about talking about movies and comics and TV shows and art and whatever we feel like talking about. Sometimes at the same time, we're gonna sneak in comic reviews into the movie reviews so that you'll be forced to learn about comics. Uh, what? Embrace the chaos. Why do you keep saying embrace the chaos? Isn't chaos a bad thing? Absolutely not, robot. We're taught to think that chaos is a bad thing in our society because it's all about order and everything happening when it's supposed to, but that's fucking boring. Without chaos, there would never be any change, and change is awesome, and evolution and things get better. But it's uncomfortable. The universe is partially made of chaos. Why do you think that they can't figure out quantum fucking mechanics with regular physics? Hmm, I'm not sure about that. This year, our show is gonna focus on art and not just entertainment. Isn't everything entertainment? All right, so art can be entertainment, and entertainment doesn't necessarily have to be art, so we're just gonna talk about the art that is also entertaining, that we love, uh, that teaches us something, and instead of just making us forget about our shitty lives, it makes us feel something and become better people. That's what we're gonna be talking about. We're gonna be talking about themes, we're gonna be talking about lessons learned for your life within fiction. Fiction makes you a better person. There's like a hundred articles out on the internet right now about how reading fiction books makes you a better person. And I believe that. Okay, it's called empathy. We're gonna learn a little bit of this year. We're gonna learn about ourselves. We're gonna learn about each other. We're gonna learn about art. We're gonna learn about non-linear patriarchal fucking systems. We're gonna learn about abstract stuff. It's gonna be all about the abstract this year. We're gonna learn about it because no one else is teaching it. And I guess I'm gonna have to. I don't know, that sounds a little bit scary. It is scary, but scary is also fun. Alan Moore says that art has the power to transform the soul, and I believe that. This show's awfully long for YouTube. I prefer 30 second YouTube videos. If you prefer 30 second YouTube videos, then you're in the wrong place and you need to move on. Look guys, art is really important because like, what are we all doing this for if you don't have time to make art? You know what I'm saying? And according to Ray's Kurzweil noted futurist, he says that we are pushing the singularity where art will have a renaissance. And I believe that's happening right now. So I'm here to help you navigate that renaissance since nobody else is gonna help you. Renaissance. <laughs> when do videos come out on this channel? Videos come out on this channel sometimes this week, sometimes next week, and sometimes not at all. What? Yeah, it, there's no order here. It is embrace the chaos putting out videos whenever we can. Where we're gonna put out a show when it's ready and when it's done and not before. 
Okay, I'm not sure how I feel about this. Expectations are the mind killer, and we're gonna have no expectations for 2015, and neither should you. We're gonna go with the flow. We're gonna let all the groundwork we did in 2014 manifest itself in this year, however it seems fit. We're gonna take all the stuff we learned last year, and we're gonna be better this year. We're gonna have a lot of fun, but this year is also gonna have its own unique challenges and problems and chaos, but we're gonna embrace the chaos, and it's gonna to be totally awesome. So now's the time to subscribe to my channel, like my videos, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Tumblr for all your comic book girl 19 news and updates. To be scared of chaos is pointless. It's woven into the basic laws of physics. And we really all have to accept it as a fact of life. The discovery of chaos was a real turning point in the history of science. They realized something truly astonishing, that there was a very deep and unexpected link, a truly cosmic connection between nature's strange power to self-organize and the chaotic consequences of the butterfly effect. They discovered that the natural world could be deeply, profoundly unpredictable. But the very same things that make it unpredictable also allow it to create pattern and structure. Order and chaos. It seems the two are more deeply linked than we could have ever imagined.